Okay, so this is going to be the start of um, my stepson's 10th birthday cake. So I've got four things of frosting, one, two, three, four, five boxes of cake, three, four, five, six things of Betty Crocker cookie mix. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use it all, but it doesn't tell you how much. So it's a bowling cake, and I found this online. This right here, these are chocolate chip cookies. And then they frosted it with white, and then these little red strips are um, fruit roll-ups. I forgot those at the store. Um, and then this is a half of a, they said a soccer ball, but I'm just going to use um, one of my Pyrex bowls. And then I'm actually going to make a bowling ball. So I took a picture, stop, I took a picture of a bowling pin and made it as large as I could, and then so I have something to go by. But this is what we're going to start off with. Hey guys, so now that my kitchen is a complete disaster, I have, um, <laughs> I have cake batter everywhere. Um, I actually went through all the boxes but one, but the first um, half bowl I made, it overflowed all over. I would put one of these underneath it if you do this. Um, it went all over the place. So, tip, do not fill it all the way up. So. This one is going to be the bowling ball. It's going to you know, be flipped over, make a big circle. Um, and then I have my chocolate one right there in a bigger bowl. And that's going to be for this right here. And then I'll be doing the cookie part right here sometime after these cool down. So that's where I've gotten so far. Um, so you only need two boxes uh, for the bowls and then one box for the half, half bowl, or half ball, whatever you want to say. So that's what I've got so far. So I will update you guys as I get some more stuff done. Thanks. Okay, so I'm making the, uh, the cookie part. Should be a uh, bowl and cake, whatever you want to call it. So I have the half bowling ball for the bowling ball pins. I have the two for the bowling ball. And then I've used two packages to make two pins. So here's a cutout. <laughs> My husband did that. So. And then we're going to bake it in this pan. And then we can do it this way and then this way. So. Um, and then i got to do it again. So I will have two extra um, bags of chocolate chip cookies and one extra box of cake mix. So, that's where we're at so far. Okay, so now I'm going to <coughs> take the cookies out of the pan, hopefully. template on the top of the cookie. And oh, I already started cutting over here. Here's our 
first one. Ooh. Good job, half circle. So here's our first one. I'll place it on my dish that we're going to be serving it on. Okay. Let's get all over here. I can, I can. Plenty of leftover cookies. Good because my husband just got off his 30 day fast. So I'm going to finish this up and then we'll get the cake part. Alright, so I have my cake on there. And I just push them down to where they look like they're curving the cake. So now I'm just going to frost this with green <clears throat> for the favorite color. And then I'm going to frost these with white. Okay, so here it is so far. Now I'll take some fruit by the foot, cut it up and put it up there, and then decorate the bowling ball. Okay, so the cake is done. I did some handwriting of his birthday, happy birthday. Um, yeah, I wish we could actually write with a pen. It's kind of hard to write with icing. Um, but I put sprinkles on it, and he made the finger holes with the white by frosting and just colored it black. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good for my first bowling cake. Now we're off to do the actual bowling ball. Okay, so here's the bowling ball. It looks more like a an animal of some sort, but um, I took both half pieces. Sorry, I didn't show you. And I leveled it off, and it's easier to ice it with the cake flat against your hand, and then ice it that way, and then turn it over. I put the pan against the bottom of it, and then for, I put a piece of cardboard in between, and I did the same thing for that one. Held it in my hand and then iced all the way around. So there's the bone ball. And you can, well, I don't know if you can see a seam anywhere, but... So here's one. And there's the other. So I'm going to clean up my mess. <laughs> and I got icing and everything everywhere. So I'll clean up my mess and then I will um, show you what he liked, what he thought. 